when, it, when I posted um, an advertisement for this, um, one thing I found was a study done in, um, I think, 1999. They pulled some people and they asked the same question, is homosexuality a choice? 49% um, said, yes, it's a, I mean, no, it's a choice. It's not a choice, I'm sorry. And the other 51% um, said, yes, it's a choice. So let's do a little poll in here. By a show of hands, who thinks it's a choice? Okay. Who thinks it's not a choice? Okay, it's kind of the same thing, almost. Who didn't raise their hand? <laughs> okay. Let's start with you then. Let's start, let's start with the fence and then we'll go, we'll go that way. Yeah. So, why are you on the fence? Just because, like, I feel like it's not really a clear, definite yes and no because it's a mixed population. So you might have people within the community who did choose to be that way according to like circumstances or whatnot, or they might feel more comfortable in that certain you know way or whatnot. And then you also have people who actually feel that they were born that way. You know, they felt like that from the child. So that's why I can't really say yes or no. And not calling up. Please um, speak up when you're talking, please, because we're recording. Oh, so. Yeah, but um, okay, so. Does anybody want to define the word choice uh, as it relates to them? What, what do you think of choice is? Anybody? Something you pick, something you like. It's just something you, you know you're interested in, so you choose to use it or like it or whatever. So is it, is it a predisposition or is it just uh, something you come to at a certain age? I think it's like both. Because, um, you know, like when you're little, you don't really think about it as much as you would if you get older. But um, I, I feel like, um, you know, you don't really know when you develop a liking to a certain uh, gender, you see what I'm saying? Like, when you're like little, like let's say you're like seven or eight, you're in like kindergarten, or first grade, you're just playing in the playground. You don't really think about what you like or, you know, who's what and what gender is, you know. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, as you get older, you know, you develop puberty and hormones and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't really choose at that time to like a certain gender, but, you know, um, it's the, the urge is there from the start. So. Okay. Um, for the people who uh, raise their hand for choice, um, does anybody want to elaborate on that or? Would you like a question? Because I have a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, go ahead. Um, I said choice, but I feel the same way that you feel about the issue. It's a choice for certain people. I know with me, it was a choice for me. I decided that I want to live this lifestyle. But for others, it not necessarily wasn't a choice. And I think it's kind of hard to define what is a choice and what is not. Because when you're in a predicament where you're being bullied or constantly thinking about taking your life, it leaves from being a choice because it, just, it comes to you as the only option then. So therefore you don't categorize that choice. You say this is my only option. Either I'm going to live life feeling to me or comply with what everybody else thinks is right. So therefore, no, it's not a choice anymore. It's what you feel is the only option. So that's why, you know, it's like on defense situation. Mm -hmm. um, to piggyback off what he said, I completely understand like, um, Sometimes it's that gravitational pull. It's like when somebody else, when, a, when one group doesn't accept you, it's like you go to the group who does accept you. So you start to assimilate in some instances, you start to assimilate to that group. Now, like, I never really thought about it how she said it, but after she said it, I can see it being both ways with some people as it being a choice with some, and then it might not be a choice for others. But like I said, it's like you go to who accepts you the most. So you assimilate to who accepts you. So if that's the group that accepts you, like he said, it was his choice that was the group that accepted him. So that's the group, for lack of a better word, assimilate. Okay. Do um do you guys think there's a distinction between uh, homosexuality and men and women? Does anybody think it's? Yeah. Um. We'll see the question. Like, um, do you think a gay man? is different than a gay woman, pretty much. Or the thought process. Our reaction to it is different. Maybe not necessarily that the feelings between the two are different, because I feel like you can be a homosexual female and feel just as strongly about your partner as a homosexual male would. 
but I feel like how we look at it is different than how it like actually is within the relationship. That makes sense. That it does. It does. Um, do do any of you guys know people who? Because I sure know people like this. They um, female examples. Because I don't know any male examples, but say they were heartbroken in the past by men, and then turn around and now they like women. Who knows people like that? What What are you guys' opinions on those, those people? 